Alex and Marla, there are a lot of unanswered questions. The CHP says they've been told the woman had swerved to avoid a deer, but they've not been able to confirm that. They also don't know if she had water in that truck or somehow managed to get it because a human being can only go about three days without water. One thing, though, is clear. The clock was ticking. I don't think I'd last five days. Everyone who sees the wreckage has the same reaction. They can't believe the driver who was inside this cabin survived. Not only the accident, but days with no help on frigid Mount Baldy. And adding to her incredible luck, a 30-year-old hiker finally spotted the wreck and reported it. Real lucky, man, five days, jeez. Yeah, um, yeah, she's lucky because the car is like down in the bush. You can't even see it. Very fortunate, especially with the extreme conditions we've been having the last this last week, and that we're expecting to continue to have in the upcoming week or weeks. Uh, very low overnight cold. From the damage to the roof, it's clear the pickup rolled over as it tumbled down the cliff after going off Mount Baldy Road on Wednesday. Days went by until Sunday when that passing hiker saw the pickup. These photos from the San Dimas Mountain Rescue show what happened next. Firefighters say they had to rappel down to the woman who was trapped. The patient was still awake uh, uh, and was able to talk. She's now in the hospital. And a day later, crews had to use heavy machinery to pull the wreckage back up onto the road, where locals marvel at the tale of survival and caution others on the dangers of Mount Baldy. You have to be careful. It snows up here. It's very icy up here. If you're driving up there, please be mindful of the speed. Be mindful of the road conditions. There was a family member at the scene today, but he did not want to be interviewed. As for the woman, she too declined to be interviewed, but did allow the hospital to tell us that her condition has stabilized. And we wish her a speedy recovery.